this is a set from CAT 2018 DALR. So if you have not done this set, hit pause straight away. Try this set. You can see the description all over the place. Uh, try this set before you see the video. Otherwise, it's just a pointless exercise. Job interview. Seven candidates. Akhil, Balram, Chitra, Divya, Irina, Fatima, and Ganeshan. I like this. They've been kind enough to give us A through to G. And sometimes I, I hate it when they give names like Akhil and Anita and, and, and Abraham and all that. Then it becomes a pain. I have to remember three names starting with A. Now it is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Candidates were required to reach the venue before 8 a.m. Good company. Immediately upon arrival, they were sent to one of three interview rooms. 101, 102 and 103. The following venue log shows the arrival times for these candidates. Some of the names have not been recorded in the log and have been marked as question mark. And so the names that have been missed out are these four. And then we have these statements from the candidates. Balram says, I was the third person to enter room 101. I was the last person to enter the room I was allotted to, that is Chitra. Irina, I was the only person in the room I was allotted to. So there's some room that has only one person. Three people, including Akhil, were already in the room that I was allotted to when I entered it. So there's one room that has greater than or equal to four. So three people are already there when Fatima entered it. If Fatima is not the last person to enter it, there's probably one more person to enter it. So one room has at least four. One room has one. It could be one, four, two, one, five, one. The only possible distribution for the seven people. I was one among the two candidates allotted to room number 102. So two candidates allotted to 102, this is like this. So two people are in room number 102. Balram was the third person to enter 101. So he was definitely in 101. At least three people in 101. This is 101. This is 103. And so, and then we're gonna use these constraints, see them over clearly, and then see what else we can fill. These are the questions. I'm going to go step by step. Just to revisit, Irina was the only person in the room she was allotted to. Ganeshan was among two candidates. We've already made this inference. Candidate numbers are four, one, and two. Two people, so the four member room is 101. I was among the two candidates allotted to 102. This is 102. This is 103. Two, 103, Irina is there. Ganesh is there and then one more person is there. Here, Akhil and Balram and Fatima are definitely there in 101 because Balram is in 101. Fatima says Akhil was already in the room among three people. So A, B and F are in 101. Irina is in 103 and Ganesh is among the two people in 102. I was now let's look at this. We've gone this far. Let's build this out. And so we've got the candidate numbers and I'm going to look at this, this condition. So I was the last person to enter the room I was allotted to. This is what she's saying. We've made these inferences A, B and F go to room number 101. C should go to 102. E should go to 103. E should go to 103. That we know. Chitra was the last person to enter. So she did not enter 101 because Fatima enters after Chitra. So Chitra should have entered 102. Ganesh has also entered 102. So now we know all the names. 102 has C and G. 103 has E. 101 has A, B, F and D. These four people. Right? Wonderful. And Fatima obviously is the last person to enter 101 because she's, when she enters, three people are already there. So Chitra was the last person to enter 102. Fatima was the last one to enter 101. So this number should be 103 and this being Irina. And so far so good. We've got this completely filled. Right? Now we need to allot B, F, F is already done, B, G, D into these rooms, B, G and D. Right? Is there some other clue 
that we can figure use use to figure this out balram says he was the third person to enter room number 101 people so let's just recap this balram says he was the third person to enter 101 in 101 we have a b d f f is the fourth so balram enters after a and b definitely after a but after d also so into these three time slots we have b d g in these three time slots we have b d g not in this order obviously b d g such that b is after d so b is not first b did not come at 710 thanks right? so b could have come at 715 or 725 d could have been before b here or here or it could have been dash d b we are looking at d b g d g b g d b three possibilities for these three time slots d g b d b g g d b balram could not have come first d before b that much we know so it could be d b d b or d b the remaining slot goes to g we know that g is in 102 and b and d are in 101 that much we have already resolved so 101 has a d b g enter a d b f f is the last a is the first or joint first and then d comes before b a d b f in this order 102 has g c 103 has e the only possibilities are only cases that are still open the timings 710 715 and 725 we know that balram didn't come at 710 but still there are three possibilities and so we've got this far we cannot get any further detail than this let's go to the questions and then see which of these work for which questions what best can be said about the room to which divya was allotted divya is d divya could not have gone here it's either 101 so the room she was allotted so divya is definitely in 101 only the timing there is ambiguity over room that she was allotted to this is definitely room number 101 in rooms there's no ambiguity in 101 there's a d b f in that order even though a and d could have been joint first there's no ambiguity here definitely room number 101 who else was in room number 102 when ganeshan entered g and c are in 102 but ganeshan is the first to enter who else was in room number 102 no one was in ganeshan is the first one to enter 102 then chitra joins him when did erina reach the venue at last at 745 this choice she's in room number 103 and she's the last to arrive at 745 am if ganeshan entered the venue before divya so g before d and we know that d is before e so we're looking at g d b as the order when did balram enter the venue Balram should have entered in this slot. We're looking at G D B. We're looking at this combination. Balram entered at 7:25 a.m. That is this choice. A wonderful set. It's a very, very, very juicy, simple, doable set. If you've seen this, your eyes should have lit up and said, "Look, I'm going to knock this off in eight, nine minutes and get four points into the four four answers into the bag." Very straightforward. Only three possibilities. Bunch of things fall in place automatically. and then there is little bit of leeway that the last step is a dgb dbg or gdb only that part is up everything else is in place straight away so you should have definitely jumped up and, and grab the chance to finish this off